Methane is one of the four primary greenhouse gases that can be produced through the breakdown of biomass in an oxygen-poor environment. Also, as an anthropogenic source, it can be found in the production of fossil fuels and agriculture. Nitrous oxide is one of the greenhouse gases that can be found in natural erosion of soil. Also, us humans can produce nitrous oxide through agriculture. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is one of the greenhouse gases and is an essential component of photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is a colorless gas that can be either produced anthropogenically or naturally. When cars, factories, and power plants burn fossil fuels or carbon-based fuels such as natural gas or propane to operate, carbon is released into the atmosphere and it returns as carbon dioxide. Vehicles, burning of fossil fuels, respiration, natural burning of wood, and forest fires are the main sources of CO2. The level of CO2 is increasing and this may contribute to the overall increase of global temperature or so-called global warming. This graph shows a correlation between the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the average global temperature. Chlorofluorocarbons are also one of the main greenhouse gases and are known as CFCs. CFCs are the only primary greenhouse gases that are produced only by human activities. It is also an ozone depleting substance. They are also known as miracle chemicals, non-poisonous, non-flammable, and not corroding with metals. They were used as coolants in refrigerators, air conditioners, and also as fizzes in plastic foams and propellants in spray cans. However, the CFC's atom is constantly broken down by the UV light and the chlorine atom continues to enter the cycle, destroying the protective ozone. Over the period of 10 to 20 years, CFC and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere goes to the stratosphere and enters the cycle. It was estimated that a single chlorine atom in the CFC structure has the potential to destroy 100,000 ozone molecules. In desperate need to protect the ozone layers, a group of nations met in 1987 and agreed to limit the production of CFCs. The developed nations banned most uses of CFCs and the CFC production declined since the 1987 Montreal Protocol. When sunlight enters the Earth through radiation, only 50% of the light is absorbed to the atmosphere. The visible light from the absorbed sunlight passes the greenhouse gases and reaches the surface. Once the visible light reaches the surface, it gets absorbed and transformed into IR and are emitted. Unfortunately, unlike visible light, most IR are unable to pass the greenhouse gases and get caught. As a result of the grasses being trapped, the temperature of the earth increases, and this is called the greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect can occur naturally, but also can be caused through human activities too. For example, it can be caused through the greenhouse gases produced from fossil fuel, artificial agriculture methods like fertilizers, refrigerators, and others. The satellite record dates back to 1979. Scientists have used historical records of sea ice conditions to estimate sea ice extent before 1979 and was rather inaccurate compared to the after satellite era. Satellite era enabled us to map the Earth and observe the temperature of the surface and the atmosphere. It also provided routine views of cloud, winds, snow, ozone concentration, and moisture in the atmosphere of the Earth and Arctic. The record became more accurate and reliable. The sea ice extent, one of the indicators in measuring this arctic ice, could be observed through this, and the decrease in minimum and maximum extent of ice caps was noticeable. This got people more interested and concerned about the melting of arctic ice as well. The sharp drop of sea ice extent of 2007 recorded by the satellite raised awareness for many. Some changes that are recently happened in the Arctic ecosystem are the decrease of minimum maximum extent of the ice caps, destruction of the biodiversity, for instance the disappearance of polar bears, and the rapidly melting ice. The cause for these changes is the increasing temperature due to the greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is a naturally occurring effect to maintain the warm temperature within the earth. Thus. It is not accurate to state that human activity is the cause to those changes. However, because of the overuse of fossil fuels, 
artificial agricultural methods like fertilizers and soil aeration and others that produce more greenhouse gases than needed, it can be stated that humans are, are speeding the changes in the Arctic ecosystem.